Remember the PSG legends of the 90s? George Wehr, Rai, David Ginola, names that echo in the halls of football greatness. But fast forward to 2011 and a new era begins in Paris. An era of breathtaking goals, unbreakable defense and midfield wizardry. Let's kick this off and see who made my ultimate PSG dream team since the millennium. Following the legendary Bernard Lema in the 90s, PSG has seen some great goalkeepers like Lionel Letizzi or Mikael Landro. Salvatore Sirigu added Italian finesse, Gianluigi Buffon provided a touch of legend and Gianluigi Donnarumma is signaling a future full of promise. But above all, Keylor Navas. His vital contribution in propelling PSG to their first Champions League final, coupled with winning a Goalkeeper of the Year award, underscores his significant impact in PSG's recent history. He is my number one in the goal. In the search for PSG's greatest 11, I have chosen a dynamic 3-5-2 formation highlighting the team's offensive strength. We have seen the likes of Sylvain Armand with over 380 games, Fresnel Kimbembe, a product of PSG's youth system, even has his own song. And Mamadou Sako, Another homegrown talent displayed exceptional leadership qualities in his 201 appearances. Alongside these key figures, we remember the contributions of Gregory van der Wiel, Laivin Kurzawa, Dani Alves, David Luiz, Ashraf Hakimi and the promising Nuno Mendes, each bringing their unique style and skills to 45 PSG's defense. But let's talk about the chosen ones, no big surprises here, first up Marquinhos. This guy isn't just about stopping goals, he's about scoring them too. Real leader on the pitch, he has been huge for PSG, especially in those nail-biting Champions League nights. And then there is Maxwell. He brought a slice of Brazil to Paris with his slick playing style. Remember when he said goodbye at Parc de Prince? There was something special, showing just how much he meant to the team and the fans. And who can forget Thiago Silva, known as the monster, played 8 seasons with PSG. He is more than just a defender, he was a leader, playing a key role in PSG's run and success while he was there. Moving from defense to midfield, let's check out the maestros who have lit up the pitch for PSG. Blaise Matuidi, the dynamic force, Javier Pastore, Pablo Zarabia and Hatem Ben Arfa. Thiago Motta, the combo strategist and Lucas Moura, a whirlwind of speed and skill. Let's not forget David Beckham, who has been inducted into the Hall of Fame after only 14 games. And Adrian Rabiot's robust presence and Nene's dazzling play have left indelible marks. And special shout out to Angel Di Maria, what a player. 112 assists for Paris, he is the club's all-time number one assist provider and he definitely earned his spot, but sadly there is just no room left for him in this lineup. But if you think otherwise and say Di Maria, Motta or Matuidi should be in the team, let me know down below if you have the chance, kick that subscribe button, it really helps the channel to grow. But back to our PSG dream team, let's see who takes the crown in our midfield. Marco Verratti, our chosen defensive midfielder for the PSG Dream Team, has been indispensable with his outstanding ball control and tactical awareness. Over 416 appearances, he has masterfully connected defense and attack, proving his prowess as a deep-lying playmaker. His relentless tenacity and fighting spirit on the pitch perfectly represent PSG's ambitions and resilience. He has been selected in the League One Team of the Year seven times. JJ Okocha, who played for PSG from 1998 to 2002, is in my PSG Dream Team as one of my all-time favorite players. His spell at PSG may have been brief, but it was undeniably impactful. Okocha's time was truly magical, solidifying his reputation as possibly the best dribbler of all time. Watching him on the pitch was sheer entertainment, highlighted by his spectacular debut that set the stage for an unforgettable period with the club.
Imagine the magic of Okocha. Now double it with Ronaldinho. At PSG, Ronaldinho's tenure from 2001 to 2003 was a showcase of pure entertainment and skill, making him an unforgettable part of the club's history. He brought a samba flair to the French capital and his time in Paris was a blend of joy and technical brilliance where every touch of the ball was a promise of something extraordinary. And on the left wing, Neymar, a blend of brilliance and controversy. While his chemistry with Paris wasn't always smooth, Neymar's impact on the field is undeniable. Despite occasional tensions, his statistics speak volumes about his contribution. 173 games, 118 goals, 77 assists. Not bad for someone who was always injured when it was his sister's birthday. We go all offensive in his dream team, so Neymar secures his spot next to Kylian Mbappé, our right winger. Sure, his relationship with Paris has had his rough patches, maybe even leading to that Real Madrid saga in 2024, but boy, he has earned his spot. Young and already a legend, Mbappé's speed and skills have lit up PSG. He is the club's number one goalscorer of all time and that's not going to change anytime soon. Mbappé set to dominate this decade in world football and despite any drama, he is a no-brainer for our PSG dream team. Before we dive into the main strikers, let's shout out to some names who have lit up the pitch for PSG. First up, Lavezzi, always buzzing with energy, a real-life wire on the pitch. Then. Gilo Moroy, the guy knew where the goal was, a true finisher. Mauro Icardi, the striker who was all about that killer instinct. Kevin Gamero, speedy and sharp, a real threat up front. Ludovic Juli might have been small, but his impact, huge. Jerome Roten, the assist king, always serving up chances on a silver platter. And Lionel Messi, what can you say? The guy's football's royalty, pure genius with the ball. But let's take a moment for Paolo Paoletta, a true PSG legend. With 211 appearances and 109 goals, he's the kind of striker that comes once in a lifetime. His knack for scoring, his dedication, Paoletta definitely earned his spot as one of PSG's all-time greats. But you know what? Even with all that legendary status, there are two strikers who stand just a touch above him in our list. Let's talk Edinson Cavani. The guy's numbers? Insane. He racked up 200 goals for PSG, making him the top scorer before Mbappé came along. But it's not just about numbers, it's how he did it. Every leap, every header, every sprint, the guy gave it his all. He was the main man up front, always delivering when PSG needed him most. And next to him, Slatan Ibrahimovic. The man, the myth, the ego. At PSG, he wasn't just playing football, he was on a one-man mission to redefine it. 156 goals that spoke as loud as his personality. Every game with Slatan was like a blockbuster movie and he was the star, director and producer. You would think the Eiffel Tower was tall until you saw Slatan's confidence. I don't, I don't believe they can change the effort for my statue, so... <laughs> I guess they can't. He turned the Parc des Princes into his personal stage, delivering drama, excitement and sheer Slatan magic in every match. So, what do you think of these PSG legends? Agree with the picks or do you have other favorites? Drop your thoughts in the comments and share your own PSG Dream Team and see you then until the next time folks.